All right, hello adventurers, and welcome back to Bilkins Foley. This is going to be one of my favorite point-and-click adventure games this year, guys. Uh, I'm not sure if this one is actually considered a point-and-click adventure game, but I'm going to consider it like that because it is absolutely awesome. It does do everything that I love about these type of adventures, and a Bilkins Foley is definitely going to be one of my favorite ones, for sure. So that being said, guys, welcome back to yet another episode of today. We're just about to head on out once again. Uh, to a brand new location. I'm not really a brand new location because I'm not really going to a brand new one. Uh, currently, I'm actually going back to this main island. And the reason we're going back is because now we have a bunch of new abilities that we're going to be able to do with our puppy. Let me figure out what I got to do next because this place... I mean, look at this. We have unlocked so many things here. It is not even funny. Now, one thing that I really want to do... Let me figure this out. So, basically, I'm trying to figure out this code over here, right? This one. Of course. Which is saying, Big Tyler lost his uh, stuffed monkey toy. He's hardly touched his grog since. Ooh, my puppy has got upgraded. I ain't having that. If anyone finds the bloody thing, give it back to him. He said something about getting scared by ghosts and falling down a cliff. Reckon the landed among the bushes, uh, trees when he lost it. Really, who knows what that uh, mattered. So, what I'm gonna do, first of all, let me pet my puppy. Let me go into J. Let's see if I can get him another ability. So we have all of these abilities unlocked. This is going to be the Bloodhounds. Which is going to allow him to... Oh, go through these holes. <gasps> That's going to be awesome because I also wanted him to do that. Next up, we're going to have Push Boy. So we're going to be able to tell our puppy to push us. <laughs> that push, though. That was awesome. So let me pick up my puppy. Uh, next. Let me first of all make my way all the way up here. Uh, I'm going to go all the way to the graveyard. Now, I know that the puppy is afraid to go inside, right? Is I'm, If I'm going inside, he doesn't want to come inside. So what I'm thinking is that I got to actually pick him up, bring him inside, and drop him down. Is he going to detect that toy for me, I wonder? Not sure. Anyway, uh, now that we got here, I guess, let's see if I can open this up. Because I do have... No, there's going to be time for hugging later, buddy. Let's try to open this up. Uh, we do have a better picky, uh, lockpick, right? This one is for Prowler. Was I able to open up the Prowler one? I think I was, right? I think I was, yeah. All right. Uh, that's not going to go over there. What if I grab this one and I do that? I then do a little bit of that. I then grab this one over there. That ain't, actually, that is good. Never mind. Because I'm going to be able to grab this bat. Oh, I cannot. Mm -hmm. Oh, what about this one? So we are going to be able to leave one behind now because I, I'm not placing these ones properly. Hmm. Uh, what if I do... Well, that's not going to work. Interesting. Well, that's annoying. I cannot really do it as I was wanting to do it. Okay, uh, in that case, let's try something else. What if I try to grab this bad boy and put it here? No. That is also a... I mean, I guess it could work here, but no. That is not going to work there. Um, what if I do that? That... Uh, I grab another one of these bad boys and I put it up here. Then I grab you and I put you up here. I mean, that's not going to work because it doesn't finish it up. Oh, man, these things are difficult. Just the fact that you can actually complete the levels without one of these pieces. That's what's making it so much more difficult. I feel like that need... Oh, I found it. There we go. There we go. We got the problem one. So yeah, you gotta leave one behind. You don't need all the pieces to open it up, which is pretty sick. Oh, the heck? I feel like I'm supposed to go down there, but maybe we're gonna need a bomb to blow it up. Come here! Come here, pup! Oh god. Did I kill my pup? Oh no, we're good. <laughs> Yay, we opened up another passage. Awesome. Now, one more thing that I want to figure out is... Uh, let's see which grave said something. This one, right? So, Bella Galloway is saying 5 north, 3 west, 4 north, and 7 west. My question is, from where? Where am I supposed to do this? 
Is it from her grave that I got to do this, I wonder? From, like, right over here? Because from right over here, we can now really go uh, 5 north, that's the thing. Right? 1, 2, 3, yeah, you cannot go really... So I'm not sure exactly from what point. Maybe from this point, you gotta do that. Hmm, I wonder. Uh, let's try. So that's 5 north, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 3 west. I cannot go west. So yeah, that's that's just not gonna work. So I'm guessing from a specific position I gotta do that, but uh, I gotta figure out from what point I gotta do it. Alright, next up. Let's explore this crazy place. Oh my god, we have now ability to turn on things. <gasps> Who is this pirate? This looks like me! Is that my dad? Imagine. Rescue a uh, Brom from the exile. Uh, not yet. Hmm. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here, though. Ooh. Okay. Am I supposed to open up all of these gravestones? Maybe in a particular order? Oh, you know what? These need to be opened or closed in a specific pattern. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I got no clue what the uh, pattern might be. Currently, I'm just guessing to be honest we're probably gonna have to look somewhere uh, this is probably kind of like a hint right telling us that i gotta go some somewhere and use this device in order to see the pattern so probably once i'm gonna find it then i'm gonna have to come back here to solve it yeah it's not the pushy boy it's not the bring one oh it's the trust fall this is the one that i need so i gotta get this one and then i'm gonna have to get this one hmm Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to get my puppy inside over there, unfortunately, just yet. And the reason that's not possible is because I, not, I cannot get him to fall down over there. That's why uh, I get it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That is where I wanted to take my puppy with me, but uh, I just figured out that apparently I cannot do that. All right, well, uh, one last thing that we can do on this island for now until I'm going to get my puppy upgraded once again. It is definitely going to be the mine shaft at the top here. Because I think I have what I need to open up this door, right? Uh, first of all, let's activate these two. Nothing's happening. That's fine. Can I open this up? What do I need? Trapper. Perfect. Okay, that's what I want to see. Okay, let's put that on there. Let me get... Uh, maybe what? No, because this is going to be stuck then. And I have a piece stuck there. What if I do that? Nah, that's not good either. Actually, it might be, because I can do this, this, and got it. Perfect. Finally, we can see what's happening here. I really wonder what this is. Is this maybe like the X marked the spot <clears throat> for the X marked the spot uh, combination? Let's see. Found something. A bag of coins. Oh, never mind. Such a bad hiding spot. Where put them here belongs in jail. <laughs> I mean, you are in jail, buddy. <laughs> I was expecting something else out of this one, to be honest. Not just some coins. How many? Seven. Thank it. Well, I, I get. I guess we solved it. I love. <laughs> I love the pun there, though. <laughs> Whoever hit this here belongs in jail. Although, he was in jail. All right. Well, I guess so. We are completely done here for now, to be honest. Uh, I have done. Quite a lot of things. I have unlocked quite a lot of things. Um, of course, we're still going to have to go into some uh, swamp dungeon because I do have a chest over there that I got to open up. But I do not have the proper lockpick just yet for that one. Uh, we still have to go for this one. We still have to figure out this. We got to figure out that statue. So we still have to come back, of course, uh, for try to figure out a few more things. Um, not to mention those graves. Not sure which one is supposed to be open, which one is gonna, supposed to be closed. Uh, so that is definitely going to be some sort of a pattern. That I haven't managed to um, figure out just yet. All right, there we go. Uh, let me jump on my device and make my way to this island. Yes. All right, we are uh, already to another island. Now, let me try to figure out what I got to do next. I know that I placed the X marks the spot here. I've already gotten this one, though, in the previous episode. So no reason for me to try this anymore. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is 
get this thing and erase everything on the side. I already solved that. Now, what I got to do, I got to get all the way to the big X marks the spot over here, right? What the... Uh, no, not this one. What the quest is saying... I got to go to the Moonshine Exile. Make active. Okay. So, this is 13 steps. 6 and 6 down, 5. So, that's 13 steps this way. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? Three, four, five, this way. Um, I should have looked at the map because I can no longer open up the map. I should get, and I'm gonna fall down now. Yep, I knew it. I should get. I cannot see the map though. That is a problem. Next, we got 10 down below. I love that my puppy is following exactly my path. Uh, and next, we have 8. 1, 2, there we go. Got it. That is so cool. Hey, we got to the fella. Uh, before I go anywhere, hold up. Can we find some treasure? I wonder. Why can I not? Wait. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot dig. Why can I not dig here? All right, let's chat with this fella then. Well, I'll be a visitor. Hi, uh, you wouldn't happen to be Bronna Fleetbody, would ya? Hi, daddy me. Who's asking? Percival Bilkin's the name. Oh, yar, you've been Winston's grandpa then, eh? That's right, I'm Winston's grand, uh, son. Well, it's nice to share company with you, lad. I'd offer you coconut, but uh, if the boss catches us, then there'd be a uh, hell to pay. Actually, the boss said you're no longer exiled. I fixed the distillery. In fact, she mentioned that you should probably go back to work. Oh, for crying out loud. Why do you go and do that dumb thing like that? I, I thought he was being uh, helpful. Uh, I guess that's the end of my little vacation then. <laughs> Typical troublemaking Bilkins. <laughs> there we go. Moonshine in exile completed. That was awesome. Uh, would you look at that? You fix the steel as good as new. Well, I'm not sure it's as good as new. Well, don't matter. As long as the grog flows, the boss is happy. Sorry? Uh, whatever. Now, mind telling me why you went to the trouble of pulling me a whole day short? Uh, Jake Grubb said that I should talk to you. Oh, old Grubb, not eh? Hmm. Well, that, um, uh, what's that old geezer doing? <laughs> Uh, ask about Lumuena yet. What do you know about Lumuena? Oh, hmm, there's no doubt uh, your Bilkins are right. Lumuena's get be the name of the greatest treasure of all. And the doom of many a strayed eye treasure. Oh, no way, we're getting a little bit of a cutscene. The Aztec Empire, the high priest Totequetzal, possessed a relic so powerful that it could bestow never ending life. But great power attracts the eyes of others, and his hostile conquistadors set their sails towards the ancient city. The fate of the Aztec Empire was written. With his sacred treasure stowed aboard, Totec fled at the height of the battle, pursued by a single Spanish sloop under the command of one Alejandro de Moina. Driven by the allure of fame promised by such spoils, the pursuing Demona threw all caution to the wind, chasing Totec out to sea. Neither were seen again. Let me how it said, neither were seen again. Well, that was cool. Galaki. Oh, an ancient Aztec treasure? Huh. That sounds awesome. I wonder why Winston was so secretive about looking for it. Well, best to leave that prize for the uh, full hardy. Oh, I'm hardly a fool, but still. Ask about Bilkin's Foley then. Have you ever heard about Bilkin Foley? Bilkin's Foley? Now, that has a ringing of a family curse if I speak the truth. A family curse? Aye, though I cannot say a witch. For a family of treasure hunters, that wouldn't surprise me. Your kind never could let things align. 
Uh, what do you hear of such a thing? Uh, it's something my mother claimed that she has rushed it to prevent Bilkin's folly. Jake wrote it down in a diary, but didn't have much explanation. Hmm. I, well, you'd better go to the source then. Speak to your mother, Lance. I would, I would if I knew where she went. Uh, well, if she ever came to Remy's loot, uh, she didn't take the time to speak to, uh, to, to speak to old Shiny Brown. Bet she would like a nip of the best drop too. Hey, ask about Winston. So, did you know my grandfather well? Oh, uh, old Winnie? Some, he'd come and ask me about legend and the like, uh, same as he. Got to think of it, he hasn't been around here since for a fair time now. Any idea where he would be going? Uh, hard to say. He has a bit of a rough that one. I take it he didn't find any clues at the shack? Um, what? His shack, you know, his house, residence, the place we call port? I... Hang on a minute, what shack? <laughs> you Bilkins and your family secrets. Hello, Old Winnie Bilkins Kasha. had a place just over yonder. Here, give us your map and I'll mark it down. Seriously, dudes? Huh? My pops had his own shack? I would, be able to I would be able to sail there with the breath of the monkey. Family secrets, there we go. And I think if I'm going to go to the map, I'm probably going to be able to see it, right? Investigate Winston's shack. So if I go to the uh, map... Oh! Of course it is a separate island. Hmm. Okay, hold up. Before I go check that out, I want to see if there's multiple stuff around here. Uh, can I maybe dig here? I may not be done, to be honest, in this area. I mean, look at all these carrots. I have a feeling if I'm going to go farm... Oh, there we go. If I'm going to go digging a little bit in these carrots, I'm probably going to be able to dig something out. Hopefully. What is this? It's a chipped plate. Pretty fancy, but worthless. Uh, let me let me just try. Let me try and see if I can get these patches dug out. Nope, cannot. Okay. Um. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff around here, dude. Hold up. Let me get me more of these critters. I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna need more, though. Hey, come here. Backful. Okay, that's what I want to see. Next, I want to have a quick chat with um the lady on this side. If I had some money, then I'd buy all the Mason's masks. I'd be rich if I found all those hidden treasures. I mean, the thing is, I, I already bought them, right? Hidden quests. Are these the ones? Carlos Corpse Swamp We Rex. Two troubles. Oh no, this one is from the corpse. Remy's little treasure. Uh, let me activate it. Go to C. Oh, there's the treasures that we bought. Just below the spot we camped that night, uh, regaling each other with tales of partly deeds, we stashed the last of our booty between the two bent trees. Ooh, between the two bent trees. Uh, I think I did see one of those camps, right? I think it was somewhere up here. Exactly, so we got this one, and I think the booty is gonna be in between these two trees. Got it, look at that. I found something. A shiny gold build buckle. Look at that. Made out of gold, I guess, right? All right, that was awesome. Thank you very much. 16 coins! That is awesome. That was worth quite a lot. All right, let's check another one. So that one has been done. Uh, next. Uh, huh. This one's by the water somewhere. And this one's also... I'm not sure if this is water. But it does have these crazy looking stones. Ooh, that's the one. Yeah, these are definitely the... Wait, what? Right here. No, because you can rotate it, of course. Oh, what about this one? Actually, I've already been to Rasclo Island, right? I wonder if I gotta go there again. I wonder. Yeah, I don't think I have, so let me go there real fast. Oh, what about this place? I haven't seen this tiny island. Ooh, we got the zombie again. Hey, Carlos. Hey, again. 
I know a song about this bond. Did you want to hear it? Yes. Four friends sat gathered round, drinking through the night. Many years have passed since then. The friends now in twi twilight. Oh my god, man, this is... The, the, the area they're gonna be hiding here is gonna be giant. They made a pact that they be old, they not forget the yarn. And across the years ticking time, one day, that they'd return. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be a really tricky one. I have no idea. Carl's Corpse, their reunion. Uh, let me see if I can find something in this one then. Apparently, nothing in this uh, grave. Hmm. Kind of unexpected, to be honest. Can I read it? No. Okay. Well, I, at least I got myself another quest. Now, also, another thing that I noticed. Apparently. Uh, let me go and grab this. Hold up. This thing is going to help me find some uh, treasures very, very easily. If I'm not mistaken, I have a treasure. Then I'm going to be able to get by these things. So if I use this, you can see the form of them, right? And if I'm not mistaken, if I go for my maps, see, look at that. In between them, like right over here, I think. So this should probably be turned like that. Uh, wait, that's not it. I don't think that's it. I mean, I guess I can try to dig here, but I don't think that's it. I think I got it wrong. Yeah. Is it seriously like this? Yeah, I think it is like this. And this means that the treasure is actually going to be here by these stones. Hey, we got it. We got another one. Yes. Doubloons. <laughs> How many? Quite a few, actually. Quite a few. All right, we're good. We're doing good. We're doing good. We got forty-one in total. Perfect. Good job, buddy. Uh, I still have no idea what these stones are. I still have no clue what these stones are. Uh, what if I try to blow them up? Nothing, of course. All right. Anyway, uh, we got another one solved. So we got these two next that we got to solve. Let me go at the bottom here. My puppy is finding something though. Look at him. Good job, buddy. Good job, boy. Cool. A macaw feather. I stick it in my hat if I had one. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't. Good boy. Oh, look at this. There's another island over here. And I believe there's a treasure between them, right? Another treasure, but more like... Uh, yeah, look at that. Another one of these stones. I keep on finding tons of these stones, but I have no clue what they're supposed to be. I wish I knew. But we do have the X that I actually set up. Nothing here. Wait, what? What about here? Hey, what's this? A flow sun token. All right, so this is going to be the first one that we found, right? The free one. So that is awesome that we got it. Uh, let me go to this island real fast. See if my puppy's going to identify something. Yep, he is. I knew it. Marsh. Worth ground. Oh, what an eye. Guy, food How the more? heck do you lose something like this? <laughs> oh my god, that looks awesome. We got so many pieces, which means a lot of chess boards added. Which is cool. Uh, okay. Mm. Still not sure what I gotta go here. Solve these puzzles. But I guess I gotta backtrack quite a bit. Let's see. Alright, come here, boy. Come here. Gotta keep on going back. Uh, not sure. Also, I have no idea how to get inside this thing. But I most definitely have to get inside it somehow. 
I cannot cross. That is the problem. Did I hear somebody puking like crazy? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, they all have grog now. They're all drinking like crazy. That's what's happening. <laughs> Just look at him. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. Hi there. Oh, no. They placed this guy in here. Are you kidding me? Oh, Fillmore? Oh, hi, Captain. Boy, am I glad to see you. I bet. So, a bio situation. Well, see, I was stuck in a little backwater outpost with no hope of promotion. My dear wife father ran at the outpost and she refused all suggestion at moving so and on. So, I decided to move on alone. The boss didn't seem too happy about it, huh? Mila? Ah, she's as bad as me. Probably feels guilty for leaving too. Figures she can ease her own guilt by shipping me back on the guards. Yeah, I bet that's it. I'm not sure I'm suited to family counseling. <laughs> what do you suggest I do? It's obvious, isn't it? Let me out of here! I can't let you out yet. I still need to visit my grandfather, Shaq. Just don't leave it without me. The thing is, I'm gonna have to solve everything around here if I want ever leave, right? Because I'm not gonna be able to come back. That is the problem. So I'm gonna have to make sure I do what's right. Um, can I buy anything else from this fellow? Hold up, he does have more maps, right? That I didn't buy. Oh yeah, oh my god, he has quite a lot actually. Okay, purchase. 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 Jeez, I'm poor again. But uh, hopefully all the treasure maps that we found are gonna help me find quite a bit of treasure around. Um, let's see. I mean, look at all these. We got so many now. On a graven island, I laid my stones to rest between seven strangers. What? On a graven island, I laid my stones to rest between seven strangers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. I think... I think I gotta go back here. What? What is happening? Why are those things not applying? Hello? Where are my markers? What the? No! My marker disappeared and I can no longer get him back either. Are you kidding me, game? Gosh, dang it! Okay, maybe I gotta go back to Razor Claw Island, to be honest. Uh, because as I was saying, this one is saying, On a grave and island, I lay my stones to rest between seven strangers. As I was saying, it's probably these ones, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or maybe he's talking about all these stones laying about randomly everywhere across the islands? I wonder. Okay, let's deliver her the token. There we go. Let's play again. We got ten out of that. Awesome, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, sure, my buddy. Here, I got a good thing about this one. Good for you. Here's the next clue. Uh, wait, what? Haven't already solved this one? Why didn't it disappear? Uh, actually, it's not supposed to disappear. Underneath a really large tree, that's what this one is saying. Hmm, I think I know where this one might actually be. If I'm not mistaken, it's here. Hey, easy. Easy, easy money. All right, got it. All right, let's see which one uh, we're gonna have to get next. On the token. Um, bring one round. That's the spirit. It'll be five pieces of eight. Man, these are a little bit more expensive, of course. Um, what? Oh, I think I know what this one is. It's by the tower. Yeah, I think I know exactly where this one is supposed to be. It's either here. <laughs> there we go. Got it. A flow token. I was about to say it's either here or the other one, of course, because uh, there's two of these walls. Okay, perfect. Got this one solved. Let's go back. Looks out. 
Look out, Remy's rats. There's a hound on the loose. Play again. Let's play. Round four, baby. I'm sure. Uh, it'll cost you five coins. Okay. Uh, wait, what? What is that? Day and night distillery. And what? Oh, huh. this one is interesting. Not sure what I'm supposed to do for this one, though. Yeah, this one is super interesting. Um, hmm. I'm gonna have to look at it quite a few times before I'm gonna be able to figure it out. What is this supposed to mean? Oh my god, these guys puking everywhere. Did I already dig here, I wonder? I must have. I must have tried to dig here a couple of times. Okay, uh... Get it! Hey, we got another grab, okay. What about between these rocks? Did I dig here already? Now, one thing that I'm noticing... Um, hold up, buddy. Oh, wait, what? Oh, what is this? Toast and the An amulet! I was not expecting to find anything between these rocks. But uh, look at that, guys. I was about to actually stop my character from digging. But it seems like I would have failed if I did that. Because I actually found another token. Um, okay. All right, puppy, hold up. I, I gotta figure this out, but I'm not sure exactly where this might actually be. Where could this be, I wonder? I I'm pretty sure it's by a distillery over here. Right? Distillery One Piece. Yeah, but I know what the day and night cycle thingamajig is supposed to mean. Oh, did I found it? Hold up a minute, I think I found it. No way, that was easy. Like right underneath the distillery. Super easy. I don't know why it was day and night. Maybe like day and night distilling uh, liquid for us. Maybe that's uh, the whole idea of it. But that was actually super easy. I found it in one go. All right, anyway. Um, we're going. We got another one. Uh, let's go to flow. Iron. I believe it's yours. I believe you're right. <laughs> you're good at this. I bet you can even win the championship. Maybe we can. Bring on the championship round. Oh yeah, you got this. Want to pay the admission fee? Of course. Of course. Here you go. And we're back down to 35. Ah, this doesn't make any sense. That's what makes it in the champion round. Have fun. And of course... What? What? Wait, what? I wonder if these pieces have anything to do. So I know that this is the dam, which is probably this, right? I don't think they I don't think they need to be fitting, to be honest. They just have to be put like this so you can get an idea. And the tree here, let's say, right? I get it. I think I get it. So from these spots, from these spots where I actually already dug uh, the treasures, if I make like a... Okay, okay. And then four paces from there, I find the X. I think I know. I think I know. So, from the island, I think it goes straight to this one. 
that's the thing. So from this island, I need to go to this token that we already found. So... It's 220 on this side. Yeah, definitely 220. Okay, there's... One. Next, from this street to this, which means... I think it's not a distillery, dude. I think it's not this. I think it's this. I think this is the X that I was supposed to go for. Meaning here. So I got it wrong. This needs to go. All of them, uh, all the rest of them are okay. So also this one needs to go. Uh, what is not okay is... Let me grab this one again. Okay. It's a little bit more complicated to align this though almost almost have it maybe like this problem is it's gonna be very difficult to actually walk okay there we go yeah yeah because I cannot walk through that's the problem I cannot make uh, steps from this point that is the thing that's why it's gonna be a little more complicated to figure out how the heck do you do this? Interesting. How far is this taking us though? Is that 14? Is that number 14 like 14 yards or 14 paces? Because if that is 14 yards... Um, that means I gotta go... Here. This right in, uh, this right here is 14 yards. So I'm going to be guessing 14 yards instead. Okay, let's try 14 yards. Oh god, how do I get there? Oh, is he on top of these mountains somehow? How do you even get through them? What? What am I missing? Oh, did my puppy upgrade again? Seriously? How? Good boy, buddy. Well, since you upgraded again, uh, hauling dog. Let uh, Dayton get in touch with his wolfing side. What a racket. <laughs> uh, there we go. And of course, next up is going to be the trust fall, which I really, really need in order to get him to fall down with me. Oh, my puppy was detecting something. What? What did you smell? There you go, buddy. Good boy. I cannot wait to get my upgrade for my puppy to be able to sniff out things a little bit better. As currently, we are a little bit struggling here. But I found something. It's a cast iron pot. Awesome. Yeah, probably once I'm going to get the upgrade for uh, my puppy sniffing, he's going to be able to sniff out objects a little bit further away from them. You don't have to be like really close to them in order for the puppy to activate. Okay, never mind. I cannot understand that one. But I think if I'm not mistaken, as I was trying to figure that out, I do have uh, one of those side quest puzzles. Right? Which is this one, exactly. And this is show me that I got to dig here. Or more like search here. Hey, found something. It's not unfortunately the flow one, but this one is a nice amulet at least. At least it's a nice amulet, and we got some more coins back from all those maps that I uh, kept on finding, right? Which is not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, that's worth money. At least I got that out of the way. We got a few more quests here that we got to solve then. Man, I'm so frustrated about this. And I think all we got to do now is simply set sail to my dad's shack, I guess, right? Because apparently my dad has a shack somewhere. I'm going to come back eventually and try to do this. Because uh, there's going to be a ton of things we still have to f figure out over here. But first, let's go to my dad's shack. Winston's shack. Okay. We made it. Huh. This island actually seems to be... Much bigger than I thought. Come here, boy. Good boy. 
Try to give you a heart there. I think on this side. Of course, he's detecting more stuff. <laughs> love it. Gotta love it for sure. Yes. The head of a hoe. Not gonna replace my shovel, I'm afraid. All right, good thing. We got another object added to the collection. <gasps> Is that it? That I just found his shack. That must be it. Boy, what a dump. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, buddy. Not noticing any more secrets around here, but I'm pretty sure there are more. Yeah, look at that. My puppy already found one. I found something. A chess piece. Hmm. Prompt to horsey. Checkmatey. I feel like this episode has been all about finding a lot of secrets. <laughs> I don't mind it. I do not mind it. What about this tree? This looks like a spot where somebody would hide something. Fortunately, I was wrong. Okay, what about this way? No. Alright, well, in that case, let me make my way to my dad's shack. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be there, right? Uh, I think this is my grandfather's shack, actually, not my dad's. It looks like uh, it's pretty big, though. I don't know why uh, Percy said... What a d uh, never mind. That's why he said, what a dump. <laughs> this does look like a dump. Oh my god, look at this place. Jesus. Oh, man. This is a total dump. Dear Percy, it's been 12 months since I left the familiar home in Ireland to seek my stubborn father. You'll now legally be a young man, holding the rights that such a coming of age entitles you. If my instincts uh, serve me right, you have no doubt taken your newfound responsibilities and traveled across the Atlantic in search of me and your grandfather. For how could any Bilkins deny such a pool? Alas, if I plan to make a short journey across the sea and return with an abominished old man in tow, I'm afraid things are not uh, accordingly. Your grandfather, Winston Bickens, has fallen off the rails and will stop at nothing to achieve his goal of finding Lemona Temple. While Winston's obsession has been caught up in the promise of the greatest treasure of all time, what he doesn't realize, or worse, is uh, blatantly ignoring, is that Lamuena's gift is linked to an Aztec curse uh, to the bloodline folly. In our case, the Bilkins family line, or Bilkins folly, is stated that the granting of the gift must cause the end of the receiver's bloodline. Percy dear, we need to stop Winston from his uh, foolhardy adventure. I've taken possession of the relic that leads to the temple and his note. Before confronting your grandfather, I will hide him in a place he'll never find. Ensure it in uh, these dark times. If you won't turn back and sail to Ireland, then whatever you do, don't be fooled by your grandfather's ambitions. If all else fails, head to Leaky Harbor and uh, speak to Governor Byers. He's an old friend and will help us through this. Oh no, your loving mother. I'm fun to Whoa, you my mom was really know? intended on stopping my pop from finding that temple. She even Just stole one of his relics to try and slow him down. I'm not sure where he's going to go to, but uh, if she says that he would head to Leaky Harbor and speak to Governor Bayers, then that's what I should do? Hmm. It sounds like they were friends. What else will I find around here? Not quite sure. But uh, let's keep on exploring, though. We got a heart, a skull, another book. Ah. Uh, that infernal child of mine has plundered my home. What a foolish thing. Just like a mother. So be it, girl. If you mean to stop me, then consider this game has begun in earnest. You may have taken the map that leads the way along my notes, but it won't slow me down an inch. I already know the location of La Moena's temple. Once I've assembled the key, nothing can stop me. 
First of all, your mother saw fit to leave you that note, so why should I not do the same? If you read this, hear me out. Rosemary fears I will be blind here to the reality of the Bilkins name. Uh, we're, de we're destined to become the greatest treasure hunters the world has ever seen. A claim we can make in one of us were to discover that lost treasure of uh, Moena's gift. You're a sensible enough lad, a Bilkins through and uh, throughout. If you do end up making that journey across the Atlantic and reading this, know that your mother has been uh, misled by an old Spanish prophecy, something totally unrelated to the prophecy of Lemoina. Hear me, boy. Outside of the off-kilted delusion of a mad woman, Bacon's folly does not exist. Mm. My pop seems pretty mad. Three parts of the key that opened Lemoina's temple. I want that key. Hey, I think I just unlocked a new location on the map. Ooh, what's my puppy doing? Is he identify? Is that a rat? It is a rat. <laughs> Uh, I think there's something behind the wall. Well, I don't know. Mad dog. <laughs> huh. Where is she Maybe no one will notice. Oh, God. If I blow it up, is that what he's saying? <laughs> Hold up, before I do that. Cannot dig here. Before I do that. <gasps> oh, What? Oh, what? There's a bunch of stuff here that I'm gonna have to figure out. Oh! What? Oh, I'm gonna have to replace them and put them in position. What? Yeah, look at that, because apparently there are slots over here. Oh, I cannot grab anymore. Is it because I already have all of them that I needed? Probably, yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, the thing is, I'm noticing a lot of symbols, right? We have the X here, we have the skull, we have this one, uh, we have the sun over here. So maybe the sun is first, then this, the skull. I think I also have this one over here. Uh, we have the shovel. Oh my god, what? So I'm guessing it has to start over here. I feel like these are connected somehow, these two. These two are most definitely connected. Uh, same for these ones are most definitely connected. Not with this one, but in uh, between them. So between each other, they are most definitely connected. That is 100% sure a blueprint of the house. Yep, yep. I'm pretty sure about it now. Okay. Ooh, this one comes here. Because it does have a cut on it. So that is definitely the start. Okay, that makes definitely uh, things much easier. What am I even doing wrong? Oh, you know what? I think it's that one. I think I finally got it. Meaning this could go there and then, or maybe like that, I guess. Yeah, sure. So this is the layout of the house, I think. That's exactly what uh, it looks like. Yep, that works. This, oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay, this looks much better. But it's still a little bit messed up the way it looks. Uh, so I think I feel like I may need to move everything a little bit more to the left. That's what it feels like. I feel like I messed it up. Meaning this should probably go there. This here. 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 Yeah, that's what I had to do. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I have to move things a little bit this way, yeah, yeah. Definitely makes more sense now. And I think I also need to make the house a little bit bigger. Might be. The thing is, this needs to start there, that's the problem. That's why I was so confused about this combination. So I feel like I may messed up the uh, size of the house. Yeah, look at that. Much better now, right? Yep, much better. So this goes here. This goes there. And these like that. Finally. Cool, it's some sort of a map. So what this is telling me if I go with one here, two, three, 
uh, four, five, six. Okay. Can I access that book? But I can access this bookcase. So by looking at uh, the photo, what is inside this room over here? Inside the green room. And of course I cannot dig or anything, right? I'm not sure exactly what this room resembles. If I go for the books... Is this the green one? So is this number one that I'm supposed to place? So that's one. I hope it's not the other green one though. How do you how do you know what uh, what this room resembles? That's the question. Because we got colors, we got these, of course. Yeah, how do I know what this resembles? This one is like right right at the entrance over here, and I'm guessing it's this. Oh, it's a boat. Hold up, never mind. The first one is a boat. I saw it. Okay, so the first one is a boat which is this boat. Okay, so that's the first one. Okay, first one is boat. Uh, next, if this is one, two is gonna be at the entrance of the other room, which is here, which is skull. Okay, next up is gonna be skull. So next book is gonna be skull that goes there. Oh man, this is so cool. Okay, book, skull. I wonder if I'm... Sub I mean, that's good, that's good. Okay, so we got book and skull. Uh, next. So that's two. Three is going to be, like, right in between here. Which is... Water? Or what is this? Or those are musical notes, actually. Uh, musical notes... This one here. Why are they getting pulling off though? Every single time I'm exiting, probably I'm gonna have to put these ones back in again. That's probably what this means. So let me just pull all these out. Just simply place them over here. Okay, we got that skull music. Okay. Uh, four. So that's three. Four is over here, which is heart. All right, next up we got a uh, heart, okay. Next, four, five. Five is inside this room over here, which is the object. Uh, this one, okay. Five, uh, four, five, then we got six, which was this thing, and then the sun. So we've got the luggage and the sun. Okay. Luggage, sun. Next up, all the way on top of the tower, I gotta go and figure it out. Because I'm pretty sure it's not the shovel, right? Because the shovel is at the bottom of it. Yeah, no, the, the shovel is the last one. So all the way on top of the tower, we got a fish. Hey, look at that. We can see an island all the way up there. That is so cool. That is so cool. All right, so all the way to the top, we got fish. Uh, for seven. So let's get fish. Seven. Eight. Uh, did I do it wrong? So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, which is X, and ten is the shovel. Okay. 
X and shovel is 10. So shovel. We got it, dude. Oh, this is so good. I'm absolutely loving the puzzles in this game. They're just super good. What the heck is this? What is this? This looks amazing. Hopefully I can open this up though. Oh, Prowler. Wait, we are Prowler, right? No, we're not Prowler. We don't, I don't think we can open this up. Are we Prowler? I don't even, I don't even know if we are Prowler. Look at that. Even if I place all of them, there's still open spaces and there's quite a lot of them. So we are most definitely not Prowler just yet. So I'm not going to be able to open this up. I wonder, is this going to be kind of like a monitor? Do we even have that technology in this game? I don't even know if that's going to be a, a thing. But what I can actually do, since I cannot go in there, guess what? Uh, oh, never mind. Wait, what? Am I not supposed to blow this up? I'm pretty sure that's what I had to do. Cost and spending zone of Lamoina treasure funds. Lighthouse and land purchase, 320. Wall safe, 20. Map to the secret uh, temple of the Lamuena, purchased from the dealer in Leaky Harbor, 100. Tunnel contraption, 80. Telescope with angular uh, readout, 35. All year pass to the Leaky Harbor Museum, 10. Sailboat repairs, 60. Wood ingredients, 66. Travel to Leaky Harbor. Man, I, w I was hoping that I could actually um, access this through the walls. But I don't think that's possible. Yeah, I don't think that's what we got to do here. Uh, what we had to do is, of course, open this thing up, which we, of course, already did. Oh, man, I'm loving the puzzle in this game. All right, well, there we have it, guys. This has been another Bilkin Foldings episode. If you guys are enjoying this one, you know what you got to do. Leave a like down below. I'm going to keep on playing this one because the adventure is getting better and better and better, and I'm loving it. And that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next week soon. Bye, everybody.